The Siamese cat is the oldest domestic feline. They're also known as the most vocal house cat. Siamese are amazing cats. They're very, very smart. They were bred as an aristocratic cat out of Thailand, formerly known as Siam. In ancient Siam, the Siamese cat was considered sacred. Only Buddhist monks and the royal family were allowed to have the cat. During the 1800s, Siamese royalty began giving the cats to visiting European dignitaries. The rest of the world became enchanted with this magnificent feline. Incredibly long and skinny, like a supermodel. Incredibly beautiful almond-shaped blue eyes. Deep blue eyes are the most striking characteristic of the Siamese. Their eyes are amazing. I mean, some of the blues are like Elizabeth Taylor blue. Some Siamese cats are also cross-eyed. And this is actually a defect, so most breeders will select against this. Cross-eyed cats have poor depth perception and limited peripheral vision. In recent years, two distinct lines of Siamese cats have been developed, the traditional and the modern. Modern Siamese cats have a long, sleek body. Traditional Siamese have a rounder body and an apple-shaped head. All Siamese cats are born white. Siamese have an interesting coloration because they're partially albino. So when they're born, they're white and then develop the coloration. And those points or coloring on their head, feet, and tail distinguish the Siamese. Variations include seal point, blue point, chocolate point, lilac point, red point, torty point, and lynx point. And their coloring, it's beautiful. It's amazing. The Siamese cat draws attention no matter where it goes. Here in Las Vegas, two Siamese headline one of the most popular shows on the Strip. The Siamese cat in my show, uh, they are leader. They have their own very strong character. Oh, my good boy. Gregory Popovich is a fourth generation Russian circus performer. Together with his daughter Anastasia, Gregory does the amazing. He trains cats. I try to train them like dog technique, and it doesn't work. Cats are very independent. Oh boy. Training cats takes a lot of patience. But we don't like to push the cats, because you know, if you push the kitty, he doesn't, he's not going to do it. So we get to know the personality. And if they're young, we usually make a trick around their natural ability. Building around natural tendencies is a key to the show's attraction. One spectacular trick that these cats love to perform showcases a cat's uncanny ability to almost always land on its feet. The vestibular apparatus, located in the cat's head, immediately detects up and down. The cat faces its head down and then relies on a flexible, muscular skeletal system to orient first the front paws and then rear paws to best withstand impact. Now, contrary to popular thought, cats don't always land on their feet and can be hurt from falling from heights, so don't try this at home. Gregory and his cat put a lot of training into this trick. They've also developed a high level of trust. All of our animals are family, so it's not like they're like, you know, kitty one, kitty two. They all have different names based on their personality. And in the show, they're performers, just like us. Since he started his show, Gregory has used only abandoned animals from shelters. When I went to the animal shelters, I was surprised how many wonderful animals looking for new owner. And now all my team, uh, I have more than 30 pets, all of them from the shelters. Gregory and Anastasia make regular trips to the local shelter. Today, they're looking to turn a stray into a star. Oh, look at this one. I remember how old I was when I first went to the animal shelter with my dad. I really just want to take all the kitties home and, you know, just have, uh, you know, let them be a part of my family. Although he would like to take all of them home, Gregory's keen eye for talent lands on two cats. Uh, this is like movie star eyes. Once down and out, these lucky felines will have their lives transformed. Hey, this is future star of show business. These two cats have the look and training potential Gregory is looking for. You should go to your local animal shelter if you are looking for a new pet. Every time I go there, I see a kitty or a dog, I just like it. It takes my breath away.
Not every Siamese cat can jump through hoops, but they all have their own special qualities. In general, this is a healthy breed. They actually can live to be around 14 to 20 years of age. The Siamese cat is short-haired, so grooming is easy. Siamese make great family pets, but don't expect a quiet house with a Siamese. They are very loud. If you can't stand a lot of meowing, then you shouldn't have a Siamese. I think Siamese are really good with families. I think the fact that they're so playful, they can be really entertaining. So in general, the Siamese cat is healthy, easy to groom, and does well with families, provided you don't mind constant meowing. Like a Hollywood actress, this venerable breed combines beauty, charm, and grace. But for the Popoviches, it's only one special kitty among many. I think Siamese kitties are special in their personality and character. Of course, they're so adorable, but it doesn't make me love them more than the other kitties, just because of the way they look. I think all the kitties are beautiful. Now it's time for Cats Gone Wild. <coughs> the Popovich has figured out the secret of training cats. Let the kitty do what it wants to do. Cats have their own prerogative. They don't fetch. Come here, kitty. They don't come when they're called. And they don't... Stay. Stay. But when they decide to do something crazy, we're right there with our cameras. Here are some crazy cat moments captured on tape. How about a vacuum massage? I guess Kenny here doesn't like dander. What is this cat doing so close to the edge of the pool? Wait a minute, what's going on? Does Hawkeye think she's a duck? Nope. Evidently, she thinks she's Jacques Cousteau. This cat loves to scuba. She doesn't mind the water as long as her whiskers are dry. While some cats are exploring the bottom of pools, others are taking to great heights. Do it! You know cats climb trees, but then how do they get down? Whoa, things look bad. But don't worry, there's a happy ending for Piper. Luckily, this little kitty was safe and sound. Wow, this is either a major step in bird-cat relations or Annabelle has found a convenient place to keep her afternoon snack. These two unlikely companions call each other best friends. They enjoy long strolls and friendly chats. But they don't always see eye to eye. Some cats are even making strides in dentistry. Looks like plaque buildup on the canines. And to relieve sidewalk traffic, here we have an animal carpool. A rat riding a cat riding a dog. As John Lennon said, give peace a chance. Many cats are still on the fence about interspecies relations. Oh no, is that a cat up there? Luckily for this cat, there's a hero on the way. Whoa, is that a flying cat? Apparently, cats have learned something from birds. She comes in for a safe landing, and then she's off. As any cool cat knows how to make a memorable exit. More to come on Cats 101. Meet the breed with the special skin flap that makes it the fastest cat of all. This may be the smallest breed. And this may be the heftiest cat. Now it's time for our feline facts. Cats and dogs are two of America's favorite pets, but which pet is more popular? The answer when we come back. There are 165 million dogs and cats in America, but which is more popular? There are more cats than dogs, 88 million cats to 75 million dogs. But more homes have a dog, 37% to 32% for cats. That's because cat owners usually have more than one. 